AI is exploding all around us, and the next big wave of AI is going to be integrating AI into your applications. Today, kids are learning to program in Python faster than ever before. And the new book, AI Programming for Kids, lets kids use Python not only to understand AI, but to start to master and control it. It's the fastest way for kids to get started, not only with Python, but also with AI. Hopefully you've experimented a little bit with ChatGPT. You've interacted with it. When you first get started, it seems like it's a search engine on steroids. But once you have it start to generate text, its true power becomes available. If you've not experimented with ChatGPT, you should go to the OpenAI site now and let your kids play with it. In this case, I've prompted ChatGPT, I'm bored, tell me four things I can do. And it came back and gave me a list of four activities. I can interact with it. I can ask it to write a poem, write a story. I can ask it to translate some of my text. It's very powerful. But when we start to integrate it into our applications, we'll unlock its true power. Next, you should experiment with Bing Image Creator. And again, you can go to the Image Creator website, join, and then you can describe an image, and AI will generate that image. And it's great for your kids because computer scientists call the process prompt engineering, meaning you're learning how to write a good prompt that's descriptive of everything that you want. Later, we'll learn how to do this within their own programs. So the book, AI Programming for Kids, teaches kids who are learning Python how to write programs that interact with OpenAI and ChatGPT. They can generate text, they can translate text, they can create images. There's over 50 applications presented in the book, and the kids have complete access to the source code, so they don't have to type anything. They can just start programming right off the bat. They'll learn first how to do text generation. And just like they're interacting with ChatGPT, they'll now be doing it from within their own programs. So in this case, I've told the application, create a two paragraph essay on TikTok. I could have said, put it in Spanish, put it in Chinese. I could have said, give me a bulleted list of why TikTok is good or bad or things I should know about TikTok. And it'll generate the corresponding text right from within their program. Next, I'll learn how to create a joke generator. The kids type in the topic that they want to joke on, and they click the tell me a joke, and their program will interact with OpenAI's ChatGPT API to send it the information that they want to joke on. ChatGPT will send back the corresponding joke, and it will be displayed within your child's program. They'll also learn how to do text translation. When we work with ChatGPT, we don't have to just use English. And in fact, we can translate English into a variety of languages. So your kids will write programs that allow them to translate simple sentences or even complex paragraphs or pages of a document. We've all interacted with a chat bot on some website or another, and we've asked it questions that's given us answers. Your kids will learn how to create their own chat box. But this is a chat bot on steroids, meaning they can not only ask it questions, they can tell it how they want it to respond. In this case, I've said, respond like a tired, cranky old man. They could say, respond like a sports announcer, reason, respond like a horse race announcer. And the interactions with the chat bot will change in accordance to their selections. They'll have a great time with this. Then we'll unlock the ability for them to start to generate their own images using their own programs. And so in this case, I've said, draw a cream-colored labradoodle on a library, sleeping while reading a book. And the more descriptive your child becomes, the better their image will become. And again, we call this prompt engineering, but your kid's going to learn it just through experimentation. OpenAI has a lot of capabilities with respect to images. In this case, I've uploaded an image of my dog and said, give me four variations on that image. And they've written the program, your kids have written the program themselves to do this. And so they're getting those image variations back. They can start with any photo they like and say, give me a variation of it. And the application will show them four different variations. Your kids will also learn about computer vision. And that's the computer's ability to look at a picture and describe it. And so in this case, I've got a picture of my dog and I writing AI programs, and I ask computer vision, describe the image. 
and it does in great detail with great accuracy. And so your kids will have a fun time applying their own images and having the computer describe what's in them. Next, we'll combine text generation and image generation to let your kids create a recipe generator. They can type in any meal that they can think of, and the application will show a picture of that meal, give them the recipe to produce that meal, and then they'll learn how to create a PDF with the image and with the text that they can take to the kitchen and get started. They'll also learn how to create a holiday card. It can be a Christmas card, a Thanksgiving card, a birthday card, graduation card. And ChatGPT will generate the verses for the card. The kids can describe the images that they want to appear on all the pages of the card. And they'll also learn how to then write those to a PDF so they'll have a foldable card that they can print. We live in a world of memes, and the book shows your kids how to create an animated GIF. And so in this case, <laughs> I've described four images, a dog in a library, a dog picking a book in a library, a dog reading the book, and then finally the dog sleeping in the library. And the program will build an animated GIF that they can then use in their text messages, on their websites, um, in just a variety of ways. ChatGPT won't just generate text, but it also has the ability to do natural language processing. So we can take text, convert it to speech, or take speech and convert it back to text. And your kids will write applications that do both. And so your next step, experiment with ChatGPT, let your kids learn how to do prompt engineering and interact with ChatGPT. Then go to Microsoft Image Creator, create some images, let your kids describe the image that they want, and then finally buy the book, download it. It will tell you how to get to all the software programs in the book, and your kids will not only learn how to master AI, but to also learn some good pro Python programming skills in the process. And then finally, subscribe to this channel because we'll present videos on different aspects of programming AI. They'll be good for adults who are learning to program AI, as well as kids who are just getting started.